very good evening friends meeting again in the session of matria medica and today we will going to learn very important clinical remedy in fact remedy which is generally used in icu patients or iccu patients that is the digitalis purpurea this remedy i will explain the little bit pathophysiology i have explained uh, i will explain the case of my father with whom i have used this remedy very successfully and then we we'll learn it from allen skinners this was just two three times i have utilized with him first time it was utilized one years back there was a call from my mother that see prasad bhau I, i used to call my father bhau and everyone used to call Every, uh, to him bau so bau is having the problem he is becoming breathless and he is having lot of troubles he is absolutely restless do come fast i went over there i saw that he is really breathless he was not able to lie down he is not able to sit properly and he was in a frustrated mood disturbed mood in fact he was absolutely lost the hopes and his when i checked the pulse i put the hands on the wrist to check the radial pulse and which was getting missed every 2 3 beats 4 beats continuously so i put him lying down over there because his hands little bit they found to be a little bit cold he said that there is a sensation i am not feeling the proper sensation in hands and i found that this might be a circulatory failure acute circulatory failure happened because of the heart musculature weak heart musculature so the thing was acute enough and pulse was getting miss every third beat fourth beat sometimes seventh beat so i was knowing that digitalis has it i i was knowing that digitalis used i have used it with different aspects in digitalis but that was the first time where i have seen that miss bits very specific at that specific interval third fifth seventh beat so i ran into my pd i took the digitalis 30 and i have put the five to six pills in his mouth i said just chew it after chewing those digitally five pills within five minutes he feels little bit better he said i will i want to sit and he sat which was not possible for him for last 15 days 15 minutes because whenever he used to sit he used to feel giddiness and he falls down he feels that he will fall down so he 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 felt better he sat i was sitting over there i have repeated one more dose of digitally 30 and thereafter i asked him i will come after there are patients i am waiting waiting over there i will just check them and i will come again after 15 minutes and i saw the pulse after 15 minutes the pulse was regular it was it was a wonderful experience and then there after i have utilized it three times for him within span of last one year and every time it has worked so this remedy what is what is there why it why it fails why it miss shows the miss beats it is the circulatory failure because of weakness of the musculature of the heart generally this is happens there is no question of follicular heart troubles in digitalis there is a question of heart failure congestive cardiac failure a typical picture of congestive cardiac failure which you can see over there because of which there is a passive congestion so patient becomes breathless the orthopnea happens to be there but at the same time the vertigo happens when your patient tries to sit because the blood flow from the 
heart never never accomplish the desired or need because of which there is less blood supply to the head brain because of which syncopal attacks are quite common with digital less blood supply to the tips of fingers producing a numb sensation or sensations are lost because because circulatory failure is there the blood is not um, reaching to the tips of finger then second important thing which you can find it out with the digital is that because of the less blood flow from the heart there is less blood supply to the rena uh, kidneys it produces a kidney failure secondary to the heart failure is the digital is primary factor is a heart failure and then the kidney failure it is not primary focus on kidney the dropsy happens to be there in digital is that is cardiac dropsy the asthma of the digital is is called as a cardiac asthma it is not bronchial asthma it is high, it is because of failure of heart a patient becomes more and more breathless secondary to it there is a dropsy and this dropsy is because of the circulatory failure and tonic passive venous congestion which happens to be there cpv the pulse is very very weak scarcely fever sometimes it it is too fast and sometimes it is absolutely slow atrial flutter ventricular flutter these are the common things which you can get with the with this remedy and that's why I, to start with i have said that this is the remedy which should which is used specifically in icu cases where you find it out all those clinical details these are very very essential things one has to understand if you correlate clinically you can find it out there is one more thing for which digitalis is very specifically indicated it is the jaundice with clay colored stools this is one more remedy one one should not forget the liver is enlarged liver is enlarged because of two reasons either because of chronic passive venous congestion at the same time liver is at fault so jaundice is the result of it clay colored is the you know, clay colored stool is the result of it that is one more thing another important thing in which digitalis is indicated when whenever the things are correlated that when heart complaints are associated with the prostatic troubles the digitalis is wonderful remedy in old people generally specifically the prostatic enlargement is there and when it is associated with this weakness of the heart this remedy is a wonderful remedy you can you can give the digitally specifically in low potency 6 potency 30 potency you can utilize and you it bears a repetition till you feel expect or uh, till you get the desired results so you can repeat it it is very defecting remedy the action is nearly about 50 to 60 days ex as explained by clark or gibson miller it has a big significance so digital is is a wonderful remedy one has to understand there are many cases in which i have utilized the digital is but the very specific which i have seen in my with my father was very typical with the digital is that pulse was missing beating in exactly at third fifth and seven bits interval so that is very typical of digital is so let us open the allen's key notes we will go through the uh, digital is perfurea it is the remedy which is proved by dr samuel hanneman fox blow is the common name scrofular sc is the family sudden flushes of feet followed by great nervous weakness and irregular intermittent pulse underline this irregular intermittent pulse this is the thing which you one has to consider in digital occurring at climacteric so flashes of it at climacteric with weakness associated with feeble pulse irregular pulse see the whole first sentence is very typical state of the remedy so you are going to find it out a climacteric age group lady 
The second important thing is that flushes of it. And third important thing is that weak pulse. If lachesis is there, there is full blooded. So there is a full bounding pulse you, you can get with lachesis. Same is true with the sanguine area. But here digital is, it is exactly opposite. It is because the weakness of the heart. And that's why at the correlated symptoms, one has to take into consideration when finding it out the state of the digital is. Aggravated by least motion. So things are aggravated by least, least motion and that is the problem. Patient, if patient tries to put few footsteps, he feels that his heart will stop. That is, patient is absolutely heart muscle is, has become so weak. Just now, uh, six months back or four, five months back, there was a case which was again in such a grave condition. My student's father and it was it was a hopeless case from allopathic point of view because they don't have weapon to fight with this. So she called me, sir. What what can we do? There are many people who are saying that we give the you give the constitutional and all those things. Basic thing, whenever such type of disease happens, there is no question of weakness. There is no question of constitutional remedy comes. Here you have to find that remedy, you have to find it out for the present specific condition. It was a typical case of congestive cardiac failure with weak heart musculature, with absolutely lost strength, not able to walk few footsteps. And every time he used to sit, he used to get vertigo and every even the palms and feet doesn't have a strength over there looking cyanosed. So this was very typical digitalis. I said it is better to give digitalis LM1 repeated doses. She said it is not possible to get it over there. So I sent it by courier the next day, the third day, he got it and it has started. And once it has started, he started feeling better. A strength he has, he has felt. So this is this is what is a digitalis role is there. Weak heart without valvular complications, very important symptom. Sensation as if heart would stop beating if, if she moved, like cocaine. Exactly opposite is gelsemium. Fears that unless constantly on move, heart will cease beating. The patient has to continuously go on move, moving, that is gelsemium. And he feels if he stops, heart will stop. The exactly opposite state of digitalis. Faintness with or sinking at the stomach, exhaustion, extreme prostration, feels as if he were dying. And this is very important sentence. The patient himself feels predicting that he will not going to survive. He feels that now there is no strength in my heart. This is very important future of digital use. Nightly emissions with great weakness of the genitals after coitus. So, there is a weakness in genitals that is very specific with the male's impotency and nightly emissions. So, nightly dribbling of semen. Great weakness of chest cannot bear to talk. This is a cardiac breathlessness. Stano has a respiratory breathlessness. Stano is mentioned over there, but Stano has weak lungs. Digitalis has weak heart. Epis has the weak kidneys. These are things one has to understand. The weak kidneys, the weak heart, the weak lungs. So, stanum weak lungs, epis is weak kidneys, and digitalis is weak heart. Stools very light, ash colored, delayed, chalky. Chelidonium and podophyllum, almost white like calcarea and synchona. Five stem stool and involuntary stool. So GI system, it has a, its own significance. It has its own presentation and it produces such types of future. Generally, these are the products of liver enlargement. Jaundice. Jaundice is the result of it. Pulse is small. So pulse is full, irregular, very slow and weak, intermitting every third, fifth and seventh week. So first it fulls, it looks full and then flutter and then weak. 
So this is continuous irregularity in pulse. And specifically, if it is there, third, fifth, and seventh bit missing, think about digital is nothing else and give the digital is. Face is pale, death-like appearance, and bluish red. The cyanosis is the result of it because of failure. Blueness of skin, eyelids, lips, tongue, and cyanosis. Distended veins on the lids, ears, lips, and tongue. Respiration is irregular, difficult, and deep sighing. That is because of secondary. It is because of chronic passive venous congestion. It is because of circulatory failure. It is because of back pressure. So respiration is arrested or irregular because, because of the circulatory failure. The fingers go to sleep frequently and easily because blood is not getting to the fingers or toes. That's why this word which has been used is go to sleep. They are not active. They are, they are not moving. Dropsy. Dropsy means generalized edema. Dropsy is post carlatin. So post carlatinal dropsy, very important feature. But it is because of cardiac toxicity. The cardiac musculature is weak. In Bright's disease, Bright's disease means glomerular nephritis with separation of urine of internal and external parts. So, dropsy of ex internal and external parts. Dropsy with fainting when there are organic affections of the heart. So, dropsy with fainting, patient starts sitting and he faints. He falls down. So, it is failure, circulatory failure. If there are organic affections, of the heart with soreness of uterine region, then the remedy is convalarium ages. So the pains in uterine region, the soreness in uterine region associated with dropsy is the convalarium measure. Fetal syncope may occur when being raised or to upright position and this is very typical with digitalis. Digitalis heart doesn't have a strain to throw the blood forcefully and that's why patient goes into fainting attack whenever he tries to sit, the blood pressure falls. And that's why the lying down position is blood pressure and when patient sits up, there is a big dip difference and it falls down. So you have to take the blood pressure in both positions and you can catch that the digital is, is the remedy. Relationship. Synchona antidotes the direct action of digitalis and increases the anxiety. So synchona is inimical to after the digitalis. There is one more remedy, nitri spiritual dulcis. That is a remedy, rare remedy, but which is also an inimical, incompatible with digitalis. One should not use. Aggravation, general modalities when sitting, especially when sitting erect and motion. So this remedy, if you want to learn, Keep it in your mind, the heart failure, because of weak musculature of the heart, the atrial flutter, the ventricular flutter, irregular pulse, arrhythmia, specifically happening third, fifth, and seventh beat, associated with severe vertigo whenever, or syncope whenever patient tries to see it. Renal dropsy, secondary to the cardiac dropsy. The jaundice, the liver is enlarged. So these are very essential features one should not forget about the digitalis purpurea. And try to utilize it in the potentized form. So there is no question of that it will, there will be primary action, it will produce some problem with the patient. Nothing, never happens like that. So it's too important to understand the pathophysiology of digitalis. If you understand it, then you can utilize the digitalis. My suggestion, go through this remedy from Nash, leaders of homeopathic therapeutics, wonderfully explained by Nash. It is big biggest remedy. In fact, I feel that Nash has explained in his leaders of therapy. So go through that so that you will going to learn many things about the this remedy. I think we'll stop over here. If any question is there, we'll have a chat. Otherwise, we'll meet again tomorrow at the same time. <coughs> Sir, एक विचार है तो तो हाँ बोला जब पेशेंट इधर already on the tablet digitalis in allopathy what is to be done in the irregular pulse and the other symptoms of the digitalis our digitalis 
uh, you are using it in digoxin that is digoxin in material uh, yes correct sir correct Ma material form material action mm. is different if patient's case is very similar the dynamic mm. remedy whenever you prescribe it maintains its action uh, digoxin in material acts in specific period so it it produces mm. you have to repeat it and then mm. it will have action if you stop giving the arrhythmia comes but mm. once you give it in potentized form it never mm. i have used it in my father three times in a year only i have not repeated i have given three three yes. doses or six doses thereafter i have stopped giving digitally he again recovered so the action uh, but थर्टी ओके सर इट इज 6 सी ओके ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू देयर वाज बिग हेलो सर बाय व्हाट अबाउट 3 सी पोटेंसी हां 3 सी पोटेंसी 3 सी आई हैव नॉट यूज्ड आई हैव यूज्ड 6 सी ओनली 6 सी एंड 30 आई हैव यूज्ड ओके देन रिसेंटली आई हैव आल्सो गिवन दिस टाइम टू समवन इट वाज इन 3 सी The 6C, I have not given the same. Uh, I have seen very, very good results with that. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. So I have seen something big, yeah. sir. In a case I have shared with you, an 80 years old lady with installed pacemaker, leg dropsy. She was on diuretics, but her um, renal function test was higher side. On your advice, I started giving digitalis. Mm, LM one, no, she is doing great. Diuretic stops only five percent swelling there on and off. BP in control. Patient is generally happy and healthy. Should I increase potency? Yes, you can go ahead with the LM two. Always, LM two you can give. And if patient has improved, wait for some time whether to it is is it necessary to repeat it. Our patient is recovered. You you just check it first, and then if feels, you can give the LM two. This is a good remedy, pal. This is wonderful remedy if you understand the pathophysiology behind that. If you understand pathophysiology, you can learn a lot over there. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you. And Buja, I'm happy you are there. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Okay. Uh, I just have a, a case you know, which I have seen. Uh, there is a, a patient of eighty years old. Uh, I have seen it one month back in ICU. Hmm. That patient had a postural hypertension. And hypertension. After admitting him Post for hypertension. Hi ah, hypertension. Hmm. Ah, right. Postural hypertension. Ah, uh, we have admitted him. We have put him on the inotropic support. Uh, there was always fluctuation in the blood pressure. It mm. got into the notice after five days, mm. and there is only a single remedy which is there. Uh, the medicine which is there in the allopathy we have found it, and that too more expensive. So whether dig digitalis would work there properly? Yeah. Or there is other medicine. Definitely, to... digitalis has a very specific role in such types of cases, and it is a good booster. Okay. it is a good booster to the heart musculature in such types of cases okay because the uh, eco uh, to the eco and everything were hmm. normal mm hmm hmm yes uh, that patient B better potency i suggest that you can go for lm lm also works beautifully in such types of cases you can repeat it safely okay 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 sir thank you so much okay bye good night we'll meet tomorrow with new remedy thank you sir good night good night